Check this out. With almost 90% certainty, we may not be seeing one, not two, but three East Coast named storms and landfalls in Odette, Peter, and Rose. And with two of them already named Invest 96L and Invest 95L, both of which have been forecasted to become substantial hurricanes. I am going to go over the when, the where, and the how of this right here, right now. Let's go. <laughs> My friends, it is a pleasure to be back September 15th, 2021 at 9.35 a.m. And we have some stuff to look at. The Atlantic Ocean is back on fire as if it ever went out. And as we stated earlier, not one, not two, but three storms possibly making landfall on the east coast of the United States, two of which could be very significant. I'm going to break down each of the two invests we already have, plus the third possibility. But first, take a look at this. Since 2020, the Atlantic hurricane season of 2020 last year, our record-breaking season and by record I mean in total storms you can see here 30 named storms which is the record high for the 2020 Atlantic hurricane season 14 of those being hurricane 7 major tied with the record of 2005 and if you go ahead and compare that to this year we have 14 total depressions 14 storms six hurricanes three of them being major so we are almost on track for another repeat of 2020 but that's not the point what I want you to do is take a look at your screen and understand you're looking at all the landfalls between 20 2020 last season and right now today that have taken place this is an absolute astonishing number of landfalls that have all have taken place within the last 17 months no other period of time in recorded weather history has there ever been this many landfalls within a 17 month period not even close and with all that info and the fact that we're in this month right here September going into October two of the busiest hurricane months we have it's safe to say that nothing is going to be slowing down anytime soon. Just a lot of interesting stuff and details going on with this hurricane season. The landfall on the 16 year anniversary of Katrina and then Hurricane Larry mimicking Hurricane Aaron on 9-11. Just some really crazy stuff going on. And that's going to lead us into this crazy situation with the possibility of three landfalls on the east coast. Two of which striking an eerie resemblance to two storms we've already dealt with and seen this season. It does in some way feel like there's a repeat button getting played as if these hurricanes Hurricane paths are pre-programmed. Now, with all that out of the way, let's take a look at this situation. Now, something very interesting happens. I'm going to back us up here. We can see Tropical Storm, then Hurricane Nicholas. We had landfall as a hurricane in Texas, but we are now past that, still stalling out over Louisiana, so we're still dealing with a storm while I'm moving on to the next storms. That's how this season works. It's insane, but here we go. Watch the East Coast. So we have the low-pressure system pop up here off what looks like the Outer Banks, maybe a little south of that, more parallel with South Carolina, but this is a big confusing mess to a lot of people. We see our first invest, invest 96L. Remember, we have 96L here, and then way back here is 95L. But we also have a storm take place in between these two that has not been named an invest yet that hits the East Coast. Here we go. So we have invest 96L riding up the coast. We don't know how strong this will get. Our model intensity guidance chart shows us a category one possibly with this storm. We know how quickly they can form and change data even within a day. So if we have any sort of tight or if this thing stays on the Gulf Stream, which is a warm water belt that comes out of the Gulf and all the way up the Northeast for the most part. If this thing can find a nice spot in there, we could be dealing with a major situation in the Northeast, whether this thing is a high-grade tropical storm or any sort of category hurricane. Not to mention the amount of storms we've had in the Northeast already. Now you are seeing what could potentially be Odette. We don't know which of these situations are going to take the names, but let's just say, for example, this is Odette that has come and gone. By the time that happens, we already have the four Formation, as you can see down here of Invest 95L. A quick view of the spaghetti plot shows us that's exactly where we should be. So now we have both of our invests accounted for, and this is where things get interesting. Invest 95, Invest 96, more than likely Odette, making Peter the next name on the list, which you would think would be this guy right here. But watch what happens as we move into the 19th of September, and we have a full-blown storm moving towards the northeast. Out of absolute nowhere, another storm pops up just like the first one 
one we looked at did, Invest 96L, pops up just ahead of what could already be Hurricane Peter. And even before Peter makes a landfall or possible landfall on the United States, we already have Tropical Storm slash Hurricane Rose taking that spot and making landfall first in the Carolinas. Followed not 30 hours, followed very closely by whatever Peter may be doing at this time. It's showing a strong, strong hurricane moving up towards the northeast. And a little bit of data change now keeps this just off the New York and Long Island coasts. This thing was making a direct landfall as of yesterday. 955 millibars in pressure. And just take a look at the history on repeat situation we are seeing. These storms are coming right up the east coast and slamming into parts of Canada, Newfoundland. And it's just an ongoing theme this year with the 2021 Atlantic hurricane season. One thing I'm going to be very clear on is I'm not making any predictions as to where these storms are going to make landfall, how strong, or any of that stuff. I'm giving you the available data we all have at our disposal right now. And based on our history, it's safe to say at least one of these storms is going to become significant. And not only that, but considering the conditions we have right now in this East Coast theme going on, which we talked about even before the season started, because we knew we'd have a shift from Gulf landfalls over the other side of Florida. And it's happened in the past. We had it happen in the 30s and then again in the 60s, a long string of East Coast hurricanes. And we're beginning to see that trend again. And we may very well see a pop-up hurricane or tropical storm ahead of an already forecasted invest in Invest 95L. But of course, as the days go on, I'm going to break this down for you so no one has any confusion. Wow, is that a big storm right there? Before I let you guys go, this is the view here on Ventu Sky. It brings us into the 24th of September. Yes, I'm aware that's nine days away. Again, I'm not making any predictions. I'm showing you the available data. But last time we saw this with Larry and with Henry, we were able to see this exactly as is nine days out. We don't know about landfall, but we do know that the Atlantic Ocean Ocean is prime real estate for the cyclones right now. My friends, as always, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you are all having a good week right now. We're going to get back into crunch time with these storms popping up, and I hope everyone finds these videos helpful. Shout out to Canada. Any questions or concerns, please leave down below. And don't forget to share the content with people that may not have it, and we will go on from there. All right, my friends, take care. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all, and you will get all notifications from this channel and trust me you won't be disappointed